Hello everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. What is it, 2.3? <laughs> no, I think you're still in 2.2 or 2.1. Oh, that's horrible. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah, this is our FC house. Well, the basement, anyway. As you can see, Ark's chilling out with his small Ultros and Stogie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grim's over here, our resident MC. His yeah, howdy. With his angry little armor. He's pretty grumpy. And I have a derpy little derp derp. I got some monies though. Okay. Ha! Huh, I can use my phone at the table. It's excellent. I can do this though. That wise. I have no time for your shit. Timer. <laughs> ah! Bugger. That's hilarious. That's okay. That's not as bad as the other words. Um, but yeah, so we've completely redone our FC house. Um, I will mention something else in a little bit, but let's go over the basics first. So we've got our Materia Melda, uh, Melda sorry. Our, um, our maid has a job now, and he isn't doing it because there's dirty dishes here, obviously, but, you know. He can bend things. He can cook as well. Um, we've got our Junker Material Supplier and all of the mess that they bring along. Um, you know. Got stuff above our certain seats. We got hallways with paintings and stuff everywhere. It started to look really nice. I'd live here. I'd anyway. live here, yeah, but really I'd definitely opening. come in for supplies. Definitely yeah. a good music uh, background track to it with the uh... Shadow Bringers theme. Yeah, when that. Uh, when, when the drop happens, I can totally see that being remixed into Toss a Coin to Your Witcher. <laughs> that particular song. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can I can hear it sort of a little. There's a few songs that do that sort of weird drop. Oh yeah, I fixed this awning as well. It now matches the house a little bit more. Um, we added a little outdoor area here so you can eat in the rain while the fire gets put out apparently. <laughs> And we got a little cart here. But this is our district. Um, I don't know if we went through last time. I don't... I can't remember. But yeah, we've got some neighbours all around. This is just the housing district. Um, this is just our temporary house as well. Oh, because we're going to bail in this place. Bow randomly as well. Oh yeah, what'd you name it? Roach. A bow. <laughs> Roach. A bow. Obo? Roach Obo? Like Yes, like a chocobo, but roachabo. Like a cockroach. No, as yeah. in a roach, but a chocobo. Oh man, roaches are nasty. The horse. Is there a reference I'm missing here? The witcher. Yes. Roach, the horse. Oh, I am def Boom. definitely missing that. You know, it's funny because I know you've told me that Shadowfax is like Gandalf's horse, isn't it? Yes. And here I've been sitting here thinking that Shadowfax was the witch's horse. Oh my god. You butthead. I could see it happening. Oh yeah, why am I out here? Okay, so here's a bad thing that happened, okay? So we were recording an episode and the footage got corrupted. And basically it was story quests, but they were pretty ho-hum not really telling you much except preparing us to fight a Moogle King. So that part is sad, but they're adding New Game Plus down the line or something like that, and any sort of missed content we will probably cover in that. There was a little bit of stuff in Co-Earth as we missed an episode there. Like, it got corrupted as well. It just happens sometimes, unfortunately, as it is. Um, but we should be able to cover it later. You didn't miss anything important, and if anything, we can just jump straight into the dungeon that we essentially unlocked, which is this one right here. Um, have a yeah, okay. So you might want to um, ah, yes. Party us is up. Invite away. Is it time? All right. It is time. It is time. So have I. So have I. I do like um, lavender beds in general. I have yeah, looked at the other right. places, because I checked them out to go and buy the stuff there that they sold, because they've got different stuff in each town. Um, and I looked at the other places, and I think, honestly, out of the three, I would have picked this one anyway. Like, the other the, the other places are cool, but we've got, like, a nice plot, man, like, up on the hill. 
right oh. off the side of a cliff. Jeez, that was quick. Yes, I like this. I think this. once we um, are ready to purchase a big plot with our 53 million once it goes into our bank. You are gonna. Um, we'll probably look at um, the Japanese style one. I think oh. it's probably gonna be my preference. Wait till you see it, man. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's like straight out of Neo. Yeah. That's like a really good comparison, I think. That would be where I put down my sword and end my days. Oh my god, so I love this place. Yeah, the guild table. No. Everyone's... <laughs> Who's not going to be in the cutscene? Oh, yes. There's still a few people only here in the cutscene now. Ah, good. So, it's not too bad. It's not Time for just... screenshots. <laughs> yeah, I was just doing that. I've got to do that more, especially now as I'm trying to post more on the Instagram. Yeah, I'll yeah, probably guys, post it. You're, you're, you're hitting that up. Like, check out the Instagram. Do go back. Does actually have Instagram that Ark is getting well, I, I active it. back into it. We have a lot of stuff. Like, we've yeah. actually got a Pinterest account as well. Oh, it's just straight up a boss battle. Okay, like yeah, a prime trial, bro. Damn, dude. Um, okay. I only have a quote unquote vague idea on how to run. Damn, that messed me you right bitched up. You bitch tit. Ooh, I mean, I'll get 60 bonus tombstones though because Shade hasn't done it. Yeah, get me pretty close to what I need for 302. Yeah, that gets me close to the last, uh, what do you call it? Armor that we're wearing at the moment. Ironworks. Do still need Ironworks pants? Oh, have you not got a full set yet? Oh, it's the only piece I'm missing. I've got everything else though. Oh, damn, son. I think I can start on a second set. I don't even feel like I've done that much stuff. How did I get so many? Because every time you run something new for the first time, you usually get like a bunch more than you normally would. And there's been times that obviously Grim and I have gone to run things and then we run later. So then we get like double dip with you. I feel like I'm getting raw dogged in this deal. <laughs> That is a really bad term, raw dogs. Raw dog. Better because, watch out, it's gonna swing at a raw dog. Because you, I think of two different things with raw dogging. <laughs> I think of an actual dog with its friggin' red rocket poking out, and I'm like, well, that's nasty. Or I think of like somebody like sticking a uncooked hot dog inside them. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, well, both of those are bad things, right? So, getting raw dogged is not good. Oh, that's it. Oh, did we win? No. no. Oh, I was no. gonna say. No, that, no that's that was this little part, though. Phase one done. That was pretty anticlimactic. I'm gonna not stand in the middle of that fairy circle. No, uh, you wanna be a monk, but. Why? Daughter. Oh, hi, buddy. I love him. You shall suffer for your transgressions against my subjects. Okay, here we go. That now, music the man. other tank needs to pull everyone else off me. Go nah. Nah. I'm gonna get this mage! Okay, mage down. Oi, oi! You look like a healer. You're going down there. Uh, this is going exponentially better than my run, so I'm trying to main tank rough tank this time. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, what the hell happened? Oh, no, that happened. Hopefully the, um... Yeah, the healer can... Hopefully the mage will actually res me. Well, I'm nearly down. Right, nearly, nearly down, 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 to down, 69! Wow, that was close. Oh, Grim's back up. Good a bit. Oh, 300! Oh god, 1,000! Oh, 400! Focus on, uh, down. yeah. Revive arc for you. The other, the other tank's up, so you've got like a... Oh, thank you. 
Sweet. Focus on a bit of healing before you consider even bringing me back. Yeah. I was just saying more like if you felt obligated in any way. I'm probably right. the most useless member on this team at the moment. There's still three other DPS. <laughs> oh man, that other healer. Oh, that other healer is okay. getting raw dogs. <laughs> it's ruined, man. What a bad time. Oh man, you're you're nearly oomed. Yeah, well I just got red. <laughs> End happy. Oh wow, that was a lot nicer. Oh. That was just in time. Aww, there was a bunch of crap in the in the way. Ooh, a monstrous, monstrous Mog Moog sword. Ooh. Is it a Moog sword? Mog. Was it M-O-G? I thought it was Moog. A Moog sword. <laughs> Moog. It's like it the Moogle? demented offspring of Moogles. The Moogs. <laughs> well, it's, it's a Moogle sword. So it made it me be... think of Jason. Is it Moogles. like a Dark Knight or a Gladiator sword? Dark Knight. There's only three of us here. Oh, there's only three of us in this party. It's nice and sleek, I'll give it that. Nothing, and the nice little uh, Moogle head on the bottom of it. I agreed roll to 76 on it. I agree roll to 46, alright, I got nothing. I got Jack! <laughs> you can sell that, you know. That's probably an easy 50 grand, maybe one. Oh, wait, no! That's probably it's like a hundred really grand. Good. You should check. And there, it's only item level seventy-five, so it's not obviously worth. It's not that powerful either. It's um, only, it's market prohibited, dude. Is it? Why would it? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Moogle weapons on the auction house. Maybe the extreme mode ones aren't mo uh, prohibited. Hmm. I think. Yeah. All right. So that's. I was down and out for most of that fight. I feel kind of like a bitch right now. <laughs> good. Well. Oh. <laughs> Well played, so. <laughs> All right, well, we're kicking you from the party as well, so then we can keep running stuff and you can keep doing your main quests. We're kicking you from the party because you died like a bitch. <laughs> you are also a shit Oh, that is an awesome. It's a. It looks like a massive dagger, but it's like huge. Right. Yep. Yeah, yeah, but it's a, it's like just a nice sleek dark knight sword in general, and then you got the nice little head on the bottom of it on the pommel. If it's market prohibited, man, just stash it because like. As soon as you hit level 60, you can just unlock Dark Knight. You'll just have a tank yeah. class just like that, and you've now got a... Blue oh, you I'm pretty it. sure you, you only need 50 for Dark Knight, because Dark Knight goes down to 30. Oh, but you need to get to Ishgard for it. And yes. he's nearly there anyway, so and it all works out. Same with Machinus. You can, you can be 50 to unlock it, but then you grab it at 30. Oh, so he goes to 30 if he yeah. is a Dark Knight as well. But that's, that was the really annoying part about leveling Dark Knight, is that I had to do all the 30 to 50 dungeons are... Yeah, after grinding through them as a bloody uh, paladin. I no, really I don't want to do that. <laughs> Wait, do you have to level your paladin to unlock Black Knight? Uh, Dark Knight? Well, well, no, because I was just at a point where I needed to grind at one point, so I did all my 30 to 50 dungeons a good few times over when I was leveling the paladin. Oh. So then by the time I unlocked Dark Knight, it's like, oh wow, I have to do this thing all over again. Yay. That sucks. And it was just because I was getting a bit like over tanking at that point, especially just those dungeons in particular. Being a level 30 Dark Knight, you've got pretty much none of your abilities. I would rather get sodomized. <laughs> in the eye socket? That can be arranged. In the eye socket. Somehow. In the eye socket. Somehow connect my. Um, Starting while you sleep. My rectal cavity to the back end of my eye socket. Oh no, other way around. No, 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 no. I put my eye. Yeah, but I then you'd have to carve out a bit of my skull am, and stick I'm it up my butt. Some of my pubes will become your facial hair. This has gone not very much in my favour. <laughs> no. Was it ever in your favour? I don't think so. I think he was trying to compromise, trying to get some damage minimization happening. <laughs> It okay, did not work. so it the did the not context work. is we dubbed the last episode that we lost the sodomy episode because at some point, I can't remember why, I can't remember when, but Ark was just like, oh, I'm gonna sodomize you. <laughs> it's just out of nowhere. And then it just kept coming back up. And it sounds like not that good of a time, but it was a pretty good time. <laughs> <laughs> 
sodomy! The sodomy episode. I guess, like, it's a step up from the, would you... <laughs> is, is banging your clone incest oh, or masturbation part one and part two? <laughs> Hey, that's open-ended. We can pick that up at any time. <laughs> we can even combine like sodomy and the and the clone saga. Like, is it, <laughs> is it two clones? Is it a threesome, or is it still masturbation? Um, well, is it sodomy if, if it's your clone? Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> the rabbit holes <laughs> again. We're back. <laughs> oh, I forgot to make you watch the grapest between episodes. I was gonna make you. <laughs> oh, we've been, I've been so busy with work and people being really bad with toilet paper. Yeah. Okay, so if you're American, you might not know this yet, but here in Australia, when people found out about the certain virus that YouTube doesn't like you to put in your co comment section or even really talk about... Can we call it the cunt virus? We'll go with that. Because yeah! people are getting demonetized for talking about it. Not like permanently, kidding? just the videos just yeah they're not allowed to run ads on videos talking about it because youtube are just like oh we don't want to deal with it at all so we should probably not really mention it but everybody knows what we're talking about it's it's the beer virus <laughs> <laughs> pretty much um anyway so in australia people are like oh no the beer virus and they just bought all the toilet paper I don't know i since i work in directly in the industry i think i can uh, get a bit more context on the matter so you've got the people that actually do get it, like the very, very small number of people that have picked it up. They have to go into quarantine for a couple of weeks. So those people go get supplies, even though they shouldn't it's really dumb yet, except. But then people are dumb and they go, I don't want to miss out. So then everyone goes and buys it. So now because of people's stupidity, we have now had to put a limit on toilet paper. Like we have to put a limit on baby formula. Uh, China, uh, I think it was in China they did that, like, bought out all the baby formula so all of these people that have kids couldn't buy any baby formula. And it is also, by the way, every shop has no toilet like, paper. literal. They have no flour, no pasta, and no, no toilet rice. paper. Or, or, no toilet and no paper. rice. But the canned goods are still there. Baby wipes. I'm, I was down on baked beans. I had, we had minimal tins. It's just people like, oh no, this is a doomsday extinction level event. Let's go make some wood fire pizza while we still can. The irony being that they're all of the people that need to die of the coronavirus. <laughs> oh, now you mentioned it. Ah, uh, oh, damn it! <laughs> Leave you're just going to have to edit like a very massive like a beep in there. Uh, or maybe just redouble the word cunt. I feel like we've talked about it in, other, in older That's episodes it. too. But yeah, so pretty much, I've had to, I've been pulling overtime and stuff all week because of people's stupidity. You've been literally pulling overtime to refill toilet paper. Uh, literally. What was it? You said you sold out in 45 minutes? Not even when I got in. Like I was trying to pull every possible source oh, that we had, it. and it just disappeared. The best ones were the people that would come up to you, walk up to you, and their first sentence would be, "Look, I'm normal, and I'm not trying to hoard toilet paper." And the feedback, like, "Right, you're a hoarder. What do you, what do you want?" <laughs> and then it's like, "Oh," and as they're complaining about the people taking all of the toilet paper, they literally open their arms wide, bear hug style, take the maximum amount of toilet paper they're allowed to take, and then just casually keep talking, walking off. It's like, don't think I don't know what you're doing. I'm just. I don't have the energy for this. You'll technically have four. I am legally no longer required to get involved. Yeah. Oh, whole gang's here. Um, but still, it's like the rice. Like, why? Why rice? Rice is a good one. If I was going to prep for Doomsday, I'd probably buy like 20 kilos of rice. A pandemic is supposed to last around 60 days. Oh, no, not 60 days. Sorry, 90 days. Um, that's how long it generally takes for them to burn out. But, um, yeah, people, are, people oh, are being ridiculous. Every time for eight weeks would be nice, don't get me wrong. It's not an, it's not an actual mass pandemic, though. It's like, it's like the, the people flu. People are going to make it <laughs> by the end of it. <sighs> the worst. On a side note, hey, Ark, you going to queue for anything? Yes, yes, we are. We are queuing. Oh, let's get them hard off. Ultima, Howling Extreme, Thought March, Extreme. 
was just trying to make sure I burnt through some side, I mean main MSQ, so I don't end up getting caught. I'm just trying to get some nice photos in an area that I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to come back to. Okay. Hanging out with Connie Senna, Ark's favorite, and Yida and Paplimo. Ah, good old Yida. She really comes into her own in Heaven's Ward. In Heaven's Ward Stormblood. Good to know. Well, at least she comes into her own. That's dirty. Why does my character look over there? Alright, that does it. We are about wholesome family content and sodomy around here. I can throw those two a piece together, but okay. Well, no, it's like two sides of... It's like a scale. On one end, you have the nice wholesome content, and on the other end, sodomy. Okay. With scales. With scales. Scale out of me. Oh, do you know that's a thing now? They've got furries and scalies. Oh, uh. dear God. <laughs> yeah. People like drawing sexy crocodiles and lizards. <laughs> I mean, I knew this was just a matter of time, as with all things, but then to see it actually there in your face is another thing altogether. It's sad to look back on games of old when people weren't trying to bang like animals <laughs> right but now by today's standards if you play it you're like this is a game for furries so I'm, I'm playing like breath of fire and the idea of the races in that is kind of like you know you've got your ronzo race and all of that sort of stuff so there's like cat people there's dog people and stuff like that but back then like they just dressed in clothes and people were like oh it's just just a different clan it's a different race but now it's like there's like a level of cringe there where you're just like, oh no, I think this is my this might be how it started. <laughs> it's all their fault. I blame. Well, they didn't even know it. <laughs> I blame Sonic the most. It's always Sonic's fault. Sonic just has that huge backstory of like OCs and all of that sort of stuff. Oh yeah, uh. My name's Sonic. Well, it it just goes to show that people would bang anything. Like if they like it, if if it exists, there's porn of it. If they like it enough, they'll try and bang it. Kids, if you're watching this, is going down a rabbit hole. Get off. Um, <laughs> if you're watching this, stop watching this. If you're a kid, because um, you're not Google allowed. Sodomy. Stop ruining the Google algorithm. And Google sodomy. <laughs> no, don't. Don't do that. Well, if they're kids, and then like they went to their parents, it's like, well, this isn't a family-friendly channel, so your kids shouldn't be on here. Yeah, so but don't tell them to heard, go do that. So, th so they shouldn't have heard me telling the audience to Google sodomy. me. Uh, uh, I feel, I feel like welcome. I don't think that's us covered as much as you think it is. I feel like you, that's liability. <laughs> um, mm. waking sands. All right, I was pretty done with Connie Sana. Anyway, and Ark's always done with Connie Sana. Always, permanently. But if he, if he had the option to be done with Connie Sana, no, not even that. I would oh, get up no. and just, I would just get up and walk away. I don't think you would. Me neither. I think, I think you'd be like, okay, she's pretty hot. <laughs> you'd be like, you know what? It's been a while. Let's see what happens. Come no, on, man. Come on, man. She does man. magic. <laughs> Yeah. How many people do you know that actually do magic? And she's the leader of a city, man. She paid like a whole bunch of strippers yeah, to strip but a for weird me. Yeah, tree hippie city. Yeah. Imagine the things she could do. No, she probably just lay there like a starfish. As if you'd, you'd like to get a root. <laughs> no, I'd just be like a no, gradania root. A <laughs> root. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> fuck hell. Maybe a few splinters. <laughs> oh, that's less appealing, not more. <laughs> Especially if they get infected. This is oh. the opposite of a good time. It's okay, she's a white man, yeah. she can cast her no. sooner. <laughs> you know, but she'd be like, nope, that's it, it's, it's, it's a part of a getting the custom to the area, you just gotta ride it out. I wonder what level they are, like the heads of the cities. Are they like level 50 or are they level 80? I assume they're like level 10 since they can't do anything except for Raubon. 
Graubon would be. I think he's like a, I think he's like a fifty or a sixty. Oh, but they're in like the specific classes. Whereas we Raubon would be we a to fight Raubon at one point. Awesome. I hope he kicks our ass. <laughs> I sort of let him beat me once or twice. I was like, yeah! <laughs> oh, come on. I do really like Seriously, Raubon. He's we a just lost a, we lost a healer, but gained two TBS. Yep. Or is that because, is that the different part? Oh, that'd be the different ones we're queuing for. Well, because I've got a Scholar and a Paladin now. And we're all kind of like doing random different stuff. I can literally just be like, oh, you guys need a second tank or a second healer. I'll jump in on my healer or my tank. But we're trying to run stuff that you don't have and got unlocked. I mean, later. later. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because deeps will be easy to get. I do prefer deeps, though, I'm not going to lie. DPS for days. I do prefer healer, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's good in this game, particularly. It's okay in World of Warcraft, but doing all of the quests, man, by yourself, like, kill X amount of enemies, and you're like, cool, thanks for this one crap spell where I have to heal myself the whole time, but I get interrupted because I'm getting attacked. Oh, That's man. why I went Druid. You could always go into cap form. It was not a good time leveling a priest. Which was like my second main. Like, I had rogue, and then I did priest, and then... Jeez, uh, what what was the second expansion even called? With the Blood Elves? Burning, Burning Crusade. Crusade. Yeah, that came out, and then I was just like, screw all of this, started a paladin. <laughs> Finally. Because that was the first paladin class you could be in the Horde. You couldn't be a paladin until um, Blood Elves came out. Ah! Which I guess is why I like them so much as well. But also because, like, I kind of viewed them as the first actual elf class in all of World of Warcraft 2, because night elves are kind of not really elves, are they? <laughs> they're like... They're kind of, like, bordering on the demons, because... What's his name again? The dude with the two twin blades? Uh, Illidan. Yeah, Illidan. He becomes a demon, but he was a night elf. And it wasn't a big transformation. He just grew horns and wings. <laughs> but when he's he still purple, that, that's, that's how Demon Hunter works for ever, anyone, though. I thought, well, I think it's just. Whoa! I forgot no, that was a race. I mean, a class. Now I forgot uh, about that. I think it's just the elves. Though. I think it's only just the elves that can do it, though. Ooh. Ooh, full March Extreme. This is gonna suck. <sighs> I wonder if Blood Elves can do it. I'm pretty sure they're the Horde version. Oh, I think that's it's. Awesome. I'm pretty sure it's just all. I think it's just the elves each side. Yeah, because there's, there's one elf each side. So stop making me think about it. No, I'm not playing World of Warcraft. Oh uh, no, I don't want. But I, like that was like the last time I jumped on. Because and then you clearly you superior. Double tap spacebar. You could glide. It sounds like, good though. Like that was like, like that made it cool. But yeah, I was like, oh. I feel like um, like half of the alliance races should have been in the middle. You know. Like, you know how the pandas, you can be Horde or Alliance? This is my first time here. This is my first time here. I definitely feel like the Wargs and the Night Elves should have been, like, can choose your allegiance. Yeah, like, well, like you can hand it with the Pandarans. I actually would have loved it if you could choose your allegiance and be any race. Oh, you just start off straight off with the King. All right. And it would have been even better if, like, you play maybe to, like, level 15 Should or I go 20. In? Grim, I'm going to yes. just fully... Because then you can shoot... Like, yeah, I think that would be a really good way to manage World of Warcraft going forward. Like, imagine, for example, you start an orc. Oh, man, I just... I think Minfilia just got fucked up. Is she dead? It's been Philly you dead. Um I don't really want to say because I'm having a blank on which potential thing it's is. Oh no, she's getting back up. Yeah. Which means she dies later. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's technically death or not, though. Okay. <laughs> what was I talking about again? Oh, yeah. How good would it be 
if you were playing World of Warcraft and right, you play like the first up to level 15 or 20 or something like that. Enough time to say if you're a Tor and you're in your Thunder Bluff, then you eventually make it to Orgrimmar and everything like that, right? And then you yeah. then you unlock like flight travel to other places. And then they made a place that's essentially like a um, you're not allowed to fight there, kind of like that one place where you could be a panda, <laughs> essentially like oh, that. Yeah, yeah. But, but you go there and instead of only being able to choose your alliance as a panda, you can do that as any class. And if you did that, you might not be allowed to go back to Orgrimmar, but you'd still be allowed to go to, like, oh, what's Thunder here? Bluff or something like that, if you're a Tauren only. But then also, you could be a Tauren and go and hang out in Storm Place. <laughs> and Iron Place. Mog Meteor. That doesn't sound good at all. And Noma. Wait, is that actually a is is that actually a place? Noma. I feel like that was a dungeon, not the actual town of the gnomes. Yeah, see, I, I didn't really just touch her on the gnomes and shit too much. That wasn't my thing. I think it was a dungeon because I don't remember playing. Uh, as a I think gnome. the king is invulnerable. But yeah, like, because this game is different because you don't have that, like, two factions warring. No, you don't. Yeah, everyone's everyone together. But, like, if it was to happen in this, I feel like the way Final Fantasy would do it is they would make it so you could choose. You could be any race and then choose your faction. Which is kind of how it should be in World of Warcraft anyway, because, like, why would it be, like... Why can you just not choose? Because there's like alliance Whoa. quests. Oh, did a big thing happen? Yeah, yes. instant move. We can just destroy all. Of us. Just wiped it. We because we killed one of them. Oh. Uh oh. All right. <laughs> all right then. Well, my time, bitch. Do you remember playing Warcraft Three there? Yes. And you know how, like, even if you were an alliance, um, sometimes you would be, like, you'd do those quests where you have to get along with somebody from a different race, yeah. right? Which is what I mean, like, why, what if you were, like, a night elf that was getting along with somebody from a different faction? Like, it happens, so why can't you just choose? It's kind of silly. I don't know. I just feel like it'd add a layer of depth to the game. And I kind of feel like World of Warcraft in particular is a little bit more superficial than this game. This game's lore depth. Like, I, I care about what happens in the story. Even though I click through a lot of it, it's because we're recording. Like, you know, I'm not going to sit here and read every freaking line because we'd be up to episode 100 by now. I'm being judged. By who? Oh, a judge. Um... But yeah, in World of Warcraft, I feel like, you know, you do like three regions and you're like, still doing fetch quests. That was that one nugget of story they gave me three hours ago. <laughs> Whereas this, it's like almost annoying how much story they give you. <laughs> it's yeah, just you're constant. Yeah, like, okay, 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 just let me get to Ishgard, but you need to hear about all this first. But what about the Moogle King? Where are you, Ark? I'm... There you go, I've tried to turn around, but there you go. Got it. Benediction, thank you. It's a little oh, bit man. funny that ah. it's been half an hour since we were fighting the Moogle King. Is what? In recording. It feels like an hour ago for me. Because I've just been doing story. Dude, we don't have any DPS. Oh, we got one now. I take it you guys are not having a good time. Not, not really. really. No, no, I can't really say that I am. Who so are you fighting? Uh, Extreme Moogle King. Ugh. And I can't move. This is really frustrating. We're all gonna die. We're gonna wipe again. 
Sounds like you guys got a good team. <laughs> well, there's about four of us that all went. This is our first time here. I am one of them. Me too. Yeah, but... You guys, like me myself, would pick it up quick, you know what I mean? Whereas other people are like, halfway through the fight being like, What oh, do I do? How I lost one alive? Because I'm a boss, that's why. Also, Grim's a good healer, but still, I'm a boss, that's why. But is it finished? Did you beat him? No. No. That would have been... All. That would have been way better if you were the last one alive and defeated him. I think we got further that time though. Yeah, it's all those damn gimmicks. Oh my god, that is a gigantic gigantoid. Giggling gigantoid. I can't let you live. You're a menace, buddy. Like, these other ones are pretty big, though. White-robed Asian. What's an Asian? One of the people with the red things on their face that uh, manipulated Thancred. What is the difference between white-robed ones and black-robed ones? He will explain who he is in a second. Is it Mancred? Thancred's even hotter brother? <laughs> <laughs> It's just Dante from Devil May Cry. Oh jeez, but two down already. I am Elidibus. <laughs> His name is literally Elidibus. I was laughing at his name, I didn't read what he said. I'm Elidibus, emissary of the Asians. Cool story, bro. I prefer dragons in my stories. And also poo. Oh, seriously? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Not you. Oh, I know. You're dealing with bad team. I've had... We just, like, I just rezzed a DPS. And then we've had two more die. Yeah, they that fight gets on top of you real quick. When we were well, fighting, it's also in, different to the normal fight as well. Yeah, when we were fighting the normal fight before, like I got popped off in a second. Like I didn't get much um, warning, and that was just the normal mode. So the hard mode's probably even worse. It's probably just like click dead. You're like, oh, well, great. <laughs> And then it's all about trying to mitigate damage, try and keep the tanks alive, and then maybe get a small window to actually res the deeps. Oh, I survived that. Yeah. So did I. So I'm pretty happy with that. Did you guys live? Yes. So you just defeated it? Nope. No. Lord, oh. no. That's what I meant. My bad. Good luck! Oh, what is this? Oh, fuck's sake! Oh, you can't hit me or anything, can you? I can't do anything for 10 seconds. But I think I am hitting you. And I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead too. Poo team! Far out! Toss a poo Whist to your poo team. Is the Paladin, Woolly Ward is the Ranger, Poo Close the Black Mage, Fairyfoot the White Mage. I a little bit want to make a new character called Bum Bum. <laughs> like, first name Bum, last name Bum. <laughs> but then, when I think of that, I think of Markiplier, so I can't do it. Oh, I think no. the I... Did we just... We lost the DPS. Are you kidding me? Is this whole Moogle thing, like... Do I have to do all of the different difficulties? No, we're just doing it extra. Okay, no, I asked mainly because... Um, I just got another Moogle King-related quest. And yeah, you... probably the extreme mode unlock. I'm okay with it unlocking. 
I just am not okay with having to do it. Because <laughs> god damn, I really don't want to... I'm gonna miss when, um, we don't need to come to Mordona anymore, really. It was a nice little, like, end game town. Imagine how much more important this town was before there was any DLC. This is, like, the Ishgard of ARR. Then again, Ishgard's probably more like the main, like the Gridania slash Uldar, really, isn't it? What was that, sorry? Um, Ishgard's probably more like the Limsa slash Uldar slash Gridania, more than it mm. would be like the Mordona. Yeah. Oh, this man doesn't even have a fucking mount, I'm pretty sure. I think it's just ribbons. Ouch. Damn. So what? Are we, what's the tactic we're meant to do with this one then? I don't know. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, phase one. If he has to boss ten percent, doesn't do anything here. But you will see all of his attacks, late charging, easy or easily avoidable, single target. Small AoE, two conal. Ark seems like a two conal kind of guy. <laughs> he seems more like a tri conal. Fucking <laughs> phase two summons minions, all the attacks are the same. Maybe oh. before bed. <laughs> yeah, always bring the mini mobs down to 10%. I love how Thancred's like, I'm ready to help! It's like, motherfucker. <laughs> You were the liability not that long ago. Ah, oh, damn, I hope I got that one in. I bet, I doubt I did. So many failed, um, screenshots. Oh, excellent. Full body. Ready? Nearly. I'm ready, I'm oh, ready. I want oh. those boots. Someone's having a bad time and not responding via comms. Come on. Can you imagine what a different game this would be if instead of that noise that it makes when it does like the shell thing into your head, right? If instead it made a Metal Gear Solid codec sound? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I think I'd love it. <laughs> that would be a really good mod for this game. Man, I love my armor set, by the way. I really, really like it. I did look at all the other ones, and I think this one suits my role the most as well. Like, it's clearly made for it. I have to admit, though, I did really like the Lance's helmet, how it was very, um, Grey Fox-esque. Ah, I don't want to run. Did it say leave the black mage to last? Yeah, but I just put down the fucking... the paladin and then they just revived him. The paladin. The paladin, bruh. I kind of like my paladin now that I've actually unlocked a lot of his abilities. I really do it's... wonder what it would be like to be the whole Marauder Warrior thing. <coughs> I feel like you got better attacks. Whoa. Yeah, more, way more DPS than the Paladin for sure. That was so close to me dying. But the Paladin's, um... Ooh, a Realm are working. I got an achievement. Um, the Paladin's got this thing now, 
that I've unlocked all of those other things, and you probably know about it. Did you level a paladin? Yeah, uh, back in Storm before Stormblood. Okay, sweet. So yeah, you know about the how it's got the combo AOE. No. He's got th he's got three AOE attacks that you can use in a row. And Paladin does. Yeah, and he's got stacking um, big defense things. So you know how Paladin has its bar that it slowly levels up as you're attacking. And then all of a sudden you can use moves like cover. But you've also got this thing that just drops like a whole bunch of like shields in front of you. And that stacks with your other buffs of lowering defense and increasing attack as well. So you just make all these explosions blast out of the ground. And then you do a spin attack in the middle of it. And then you do an even stronger one that has all of these like blade flashes everywhere. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's <laughs> it's nice crowd control, man. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, no, I think we, did we we won that one. No, we didn't. But I definitely feel like I've watched you take things oh. down way faster. If that makes sense. It's just this is this seems more of like a way to kill off annoying ads quickly. Yeah, I've sort of got the first phase down now. I have to specifically take a tank Moogle ad as well as the boss. Ugh. I noticed I was able to take him down twice, and rather than the insta kill on everyone, he just kept reviving the tank. Yeah, that's probably what I would do if I was on their side as well. <laughs> All that damage, ah, uh, damage absorption. Is it the king that's doing the reviving as well? Yes. That sucks. But as soon as you um take down a, this, a certain wrong ad, it's just like, nope, suck it. <laughs> so candid. That's no, legit. suck it. <laughs> You're all dead now. There's got to be like some sort of optimal strategy. He seems like he's probably a gimmick fight. There is. Like, like I'm trying to, am trying to read the strat for it as well while I'm doing this. I've nearly got, old mate down for the first time drop him I wonder if we will reach Ishgard for episode 40 starting to be not too sure to be honest especially with all this filler content in between um I'll let you know when I'm on a on a quest that seems to matter <laughs> okay Speak with Then Cred in the Eastern Land. I'm up to still waters. Do you remember oh, a quest God, named it. that? Grim? I'm poisoned and stuck in shit and I got no control for ten seconds. Yeah, I'll heal you in a sec. Stuck in shit. Five, four, thank god, three, two, one. That's a really Eight. long stun. <laughs> it was actually a fifteen seconds stun. Jeez, but... dude, what the fuck? 15 seconds! Yeah. If you got that consecutively four times, that's like a whole minute you're out of the fight. Yep. Screw that. Is it an AoE attack that does it as well? Yep. Oh my god! <laughs> just take out the whole team, nobody's allowed to do anything for 15 seconds, and you just all get wrecked. That's That seems a little bit OP. Speaking of OP, I saw people in um, the Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield group discussing an issue today. Yeah. And they were like, um, talking about how they wanted the move Attract to work on both genders. Which is, a, yeah. it, which is an issue that's come up, like somebody made a hack to make that happen on romhacking.net, right? Right. And, and um one of the old submission reviewers, which is what I do as well, um, they rejected it. They're like, oh, this is political. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. I would have been like, you're a fucking idiot. Why would you do that? That's one, asking for trouble. And two, like someone's sexuality isn't politics. It's their life. <laughs> politics is getting butthurt about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, that caused a big freaking controversy. But 
talking about it on the actual Pokemon Shield, some, uh, uh, Sword and Shield, uh, not subreddit, it's like a Facebook group, I think. It would be so OP if you could just use a trap. Oh, we nearly got him, we nearly got him, we nearly got him! No matter what. Fucking about time. <laughs> no, one percented, he fucking one percented us. Are you serious? Fuck? Yep. Alright, I think I've got a gist on how this fight works now, though. <laughs> okay, let's go. Right. That determination. So the I'm eye... loving it. Okay, so step phase one, I specifically have to grab the tank ad because I think every time I keep taking out the tank ad, he'll prioritize it over trying to kill everyone. I think that's the whole point. It's like, oh, I'm going to kill you, but it's like, oh, shit, not my tank. <laughs> I need that. But yeah, to wrap up what I was talking about as well, if you, I don't know if you've ever played Pokemon with the move attract, but it's essentially yeah, just okay. like, if it's the charm, isn't it? Yeah, except it lasts for fucking ages, Jesus. and if you can just use the that on anyone, more complicated than we like everybody's just gonna spam that move all the time. It'd be fucking annoying. So I'm glad that um, they don't have it in the main game. Plus, it's Japan anyway, so Indeed. they're probably going to have that same shit in 20 years' time. Ere thou goest, another matter requireth thine attention. A young maiden, full eager to... Have you played any of that Dragon Where Quest for the stars yet? I tried, I think I did, I've made my character, well. but then I was tr people were trying to talk to me at work when I was going through the intro stuff, so I'm like, that's a future me problem. Yeah, I think you get the first month free for the premium stuff. So you can, like, literally play all of the multiplayer content and right. le level up really co fast. Like, my characters are all nearly level 50. I maxed the first cl first um, classless class and then started with, like, warriors and stuff. And they were, like, level 50, but I've got, like, all five-star equipment, end-game equipment. <laughs> Jesus. And I'm, like, not even up to Chapter 3 yet. <laughs> That's nuts. It's good. <laughs> it's a good game. I like it. It fucks my mobile battery, though. <laughs> it fucks it so hard. Raw dog. <laughs> raw dog. It's like a raw dog. Like a like a Frankfurter. Except it's like a Cheerio Frankfurter. And it's the whole chain. <laughs> Jesus. Pull it out. It's like a chainsaw. Oh. <laughs> I almost feel like... It's this is the phase we keep fucking it up on. I'm really glad you guys are working that out while I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I'll be taking payment in ISOC sodomy, thank you very much. My goodness. I wonder if there is a word for, like, essentially viciously having sex with other orifices in the body. There's gotta be. Because I don't think having sex with somebody's eye socket is sodomy unless that eye socket is somehow moved to somebody's butthole. <sighs> I remember being in religious school and people referring to, like, sodomy. Come on, come on, drop that limit break in. Come on. Sodom and Gomorrah as sodomites. <laughs> And I always confuse them. Did it? With... Fucking did it! Yes. Do you guys remember fuck, what dolomites are? Fucking nuts, you fucking puffy white fuck! <laughs> <sighs> oh, this guy's cute. Oh, we got 120 fucking tombstones for it for the first ooh, time. Ooh, this a ribbon of healing. <laughs> it's gonna be completely under your level, but I, I guess for just insult's sake, why not? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> do you guys know what a dolomite is? Do you remember no, that you from need... school? Yeah. Uh, I'll commend the other. Oh, I don't level 100. It's not the worst thing in the world. So, for people that don't know and don't live in Australia where we have really weird cultural shit, a dolomite was like this weird thing that essentially had legs like a freaking squid or an octopus. It was somehow like oh, a two weird. Two player commendations! Nice. I'm not right. shit! <laughs> it, it was kind of like a weird futuristic mechanized human, except with the legs of Ursula, except they were robot legs. And the whole point was to appeal to 
primary school children to save money because <laughs> <laughs> whatever. We're not making this up. Nope. And um, but yeah, so but I was really young when I got introduced to that. So like I was in a religious school and um spoiler alert, I'm not religious anymore. Um, but I was in religious school and they were teaching us about Sodom and Gomorrah at the time that I learnt about the Dolomites as well. So I used to just call them Sodomites. <laughs> Gotta save money with them Sodomites. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you know, the one with the tentacles. <laughs> it's better than what I've... Oh, no, it's not. No, it'll be just under, because it's eye level 100. It might be a cool glamour, though. No, it's a... Automatically the... For you shouldn't. I think once you roll, you should. That's like your claim. Because Cal Taron is waiting for me to leave. Who's the other healer? That's oh, <laughs> okay, okay, no, maybe. They, anyway. they rolled a sixty-two. I rolled. A Man, Australian culture is weird. What was the giraffe called again? Not Gerald. Harold. Uh, Harold. Yeah. Harold the giraffe telling you all about medical shit. Um, he's he's still around, dude. Yeah, but he nearly died. They brought him back. Ah, oh, okay. I know a person that ran a campaign to help bring him back. Hell yeah. He's also the guy that does um all of those cosplay armor creations where it's like, have you ever seen the Pikachu or the Hello Kitty version of Space Marine armor? Nope. I did, these, That's a big these old words note. don't seem to ring a bell. Okay. Well, I know the guy that makes those. He makes, like, um, armor for Jessica Negri and stuff as well. Ah, yeah. But you know what a space marine is, though, right? Yes. Okay, so there's one of those that's super yellow and made to look like Pikachu. <laughs> 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 and it's got, like, a huge staff, except the oh. end of the staff is its tail. I think it does, it does ring a bell now. Pikachu, Space Marine. Hmm. And then there was another one that was all pink, and it had like a Hello Kitty bow on its head. Let's <laughs> just start saving up all my stuff to try to get the 120 weapon. I've got nothing else better to do. Plus, it gives me plus one physical damage. Nice. Anyway, um, that's a Jarrah. Um, Sunday cosplay, if anybody's. Um, wanting to check out his stuff. He has an online store, he sells a bunch of really cool um, 3D printed stuff. If you guys have seen those little um, Bulbasaur planters, or the tiny mm. tiny little um, 3D printed Cubone skulls, he's the one that started that trend. So it'd be like a Cubone skull that you can buy and you can put it on a toy or you can put it on your pet. <laughs> it's right. just the skull. Rim boy, you ready to queue for something else? Want to go for Ultima or Garuda? Yeah, Garuda probably quicker. Uh, I'm still literally kill killing for both at the same time. So oh, because it's just like the like the boss fight, isn't it? Yeah, these yeah. are just trials. That's a yeah, easy okay. to bang out while we're potentially waiting for shade for things. Do what you guys are... know when Thangcred and everybody shut the fuck up about everything forever? <laughs> because Never. I am so done. <laughs> like, oh, heaven, heaven, Heaven's Ward is when yeah, the, you're, you're, it's like I'm up to the Mother of Ultimate. Exiles. Grim, look it up quick. Mother of Exiles is the quest I just started, the story quest. I'm like two or three ahead of that, still. God. Oh, you still got one, two. Three, three hundred. <laughs> three hundred quests. Three hundred and eighty-five quests. So you still have, like, I don't know, do I just count to fourteen? I forgot what I counted to before to the next trial. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, and that's Lady Shiva, I'm guessing. Oh, Ooh. man. Are you guys going to be able to help me with that? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Awesome. That's the next. No, oh mate, man, you, uh, we're doing oh, Shiva next episode. That's cool. No, you're not. No, it's probably like an episode after. No, Shiva is. So she should be the next trial primal. Four trials away. Oh, really? but but you've got who's the, next? You've got the, the striking Holo tree. Eater. Striking trees after the Holorita, which is the. Leviathan. Thing and thing, yeah. Leviathan. Ooh! You think we'll get Leviathan next episode? Mm. Computer says no. It's possible. 
Because I'm smashing through these story quests. Oh man, I think I'd better hand this one in and call it. But we got a lot done. Oh, Alpha Nord's down by a boat. That means... I'm on a boat! Debauchery and bilge. I'm on a boat! Search for the diamonds on, on the Royal Pomenade. Oh god. Oh god. All right, I'll, oh, I'll, that's I'll right. You have to end your Geary and the, and the diamonds are down. What does it mean? Means Yugiri and the diamonds are coming to town. What is a doman? <laughs> That's what like, you're gonna find out. Is it like a Roman? But they've got like a little. But they've got like um, stone heads. Yeah, like um, juggernaut. <laughs> yeah, every single one of them is juggernaut. Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> just everyone just runs at you at once. By the way, how good is like the unstoppable Colossus? <laughs> My, yeah, favorite version of Colt. I really love Juggernaut, but they just melded two characters and made a better one. <laughs> well, the whole point is that that's like their whole way to try and make, like, try and obviously spice up Colossus because he's just been a bit doing his own thing over and over again. Just here, I am Russian man with metal skin. Here, I die. Here, I love little girl. Here is my sister. She is demon. <laughs> He does do that. <laughs> but I but I love her. She is demon, but sweet girl. <laughs> and then the fact... I'm not sure where, where magic even sits now with her age. I know her mental age and her physical age don't line up, and they haven't for a very long time. Who? Magi? I don't know who that is. Magic, of course, is his sister. Oh, oh, the one that was all sick and fucked up for all of that. Yeah, and then, and then the demon... The fucking the Mephisto took her in the realm for a while, so then he, she got aged up and... Oh, that's weird. I don't like that. <laughs> you don't just, so like, is... age up a single person. That still feels creepy. And, but I think she's uh, she's been aged up for about 20 years since then, but yeah, she got aged up. Yeah, I mean, initially, like, how they were, like, put her in the dimension of Mephesto, and then yeah. no time passed outside, so it's just like, hey, you still think of me like a child, except I'm an adult now. Hey, how you doing? Oh, get away! What the hell? <laughs> It's like, sex, ew, little sister. Yeah, pretty much. Poor Colossus. <laughs> He's having a bad time. He did. Especially Man. at his wedding. Like, the recent one, anyway. What a horrible freaking. Okay, remember when um, Rob from Comics Explained was like, which do you prefer, the X-Men animated series or the Batman animated series? <laughs> and I was like, oh, probably the Batman one. I keep going back and forth between them both because they're both really, really good. All right, it's all not right. fair. Anyone else is running in. Fuck it. Whee! That's like that's like choosing between two really good pizzas. <laughs> it's like, but, but both. <laughs> I don't want to choose. I want both. Only white dogs make you choose. <laughs> hey, I'm a white dog. <laughs> but also like. I think in the end, like... Okay, so when all these plumes come down, there's one that's differently named that has to not get killed. I think overall, I would probably choose right, Razor, Batman. Razor. The Satin Plume, okay. or No, it's Focus the Satin Plume. I like X-Men more than I like Batman, but I like the Batman animated series as a series more than I like the X-Men animated series Ugh. as a series because oh, it's more complete. Hours, but that's a hard right, choice man. Your Honor. good oh is this quest gonna be done already it's wrap up time oh, screw it that's probably good enough all right you want to wrap up oh no all right oh. so yeah I'll control I'll... in the middle of the thing but we got shit done next episode we're gonna get more shit done and hopefully this episode does not corrupt <laughs> so if you like what we're doing here, whether on this game or anything else we're doing, solo, multiplayer, etc, etc. Whoa! Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're in uh, Kujata, join our FC. And until the next episode of Final Fantasy XIV, I am Marky Sam, which means Shaden Grimm. You're on Dude Go Back, and I'm going to go kick Garuda's ass. Peace! <laughs> Bye!